I just told him I've got to come over and see the fake news. And I'll tell you what, we are winning so big because we're going along. These are corrupt politicians, and that includes Nancy Pelosi. She's a corrupt politician. She should go back to a district which is horrible. It's filthy. It's drug infested. The stuff's being flown out to the ocean. It's being wiped out to the ocean through their drainage system. You got to see what's happening in San Francisco. She had a full on public meltdown because she got called out. She knew it was a train wreck yesterday. Take a look. The facts and the Constitution give us no choice but to impeach, move forward with impeachment of the president. As a Catholic, I resent your using the word hate in a sentence that addresses me. I don't hate anyone. I was raised in a way that is full, a heart full of love and always prayed for the president. And I still pray for the president. I pray for the president all the time. So don't mess with me when it comes to words like Things going on, and you know what I mean by that. The fake news, the Comeys of the world, all of the bad things that went on. It's called the swamp. And you know what happened? And you know what I did? A big favor. I caught the swamp. I caught them all. Let's see what happens. Nobody else could have done that but me. Eating impeaching President Trump for the crime of winning, yes, the 2016 election. Get this, remember Congressman Al Green, we better impeach him or else we're not going to beat him. Well, he just admitted Democrats, they'll impeach him again and again and again. They won't stop impeaching him. This is how sick it's gotten. Take a look. We can move forward with what we have on the table currently. We can take this before the Senate, and we can still investigate other issues. And when the president um, has committed additional offenses, and my suspicion is that he will, we can take those before the Senate. Uh, there is no limit on the number of times the Senate can vote uh, to convict or not a president. No limit to the number of times the House can vote to impeach or not a president. Here's the reaction. She is the white and nobody else could have done it. On top of that, we have the best economy, greatest economy we've ever had, the best job numbers. Busy news night, and we are witnessing history in the making. The American people, they cannot, will not be stopped. And let's make one thing perfectly clear. Numbers, they don't lie. President Trump's agenda is an epic success. And according to brand new economic numbers out today, a new report, a whopping 266,000 new jobs were added in the month of November. Now, that includes 54,000 jobs in manufacturing. Oh, those are the jobs Barack Obama said are never coming back. Says, like the person you just mentioned, who I'm not going to advertise for, that he's going to bring all these jobs back. Well, how exactly are you going to do that? What are you going to do? There's, the, there's no answer to it. He just says, well, I'm going, to, I'm going to negotiate a better deal. Well, how, what, how exactly are you going to negotiate that? What magic wand do you have? And usually the answer is he doesn't have an answer. Remember, now, that includes 54,000 jobs in manufacturing. Oh, those are the jobs Barack Obama said are never coming back. Unemployment rate now down again to 3.5%. The lowest level since 1969, another record. And average earnings, by the way, hourly earnings are up 3.1%. Even CNBC host, the crazy Jim Cramer, he said, the media mob, well, they don't want to report this, but these are the best numbers of our lives. Wow. Take a listen. Cable, CNN, MSN, what do they cover? The number 16th, 16th is positive economic news. All the rest of them are negative. So you know what's going on here, Joe. People don't want to say good things. And this is the best number I've ever seen in my life. How can it last forever? Uh, unless it's a participation rate. And it, uh, it, if you know, I think it, can, it has to go up, Joe, because when we win the trade war, which, you know, we're going to win now because we have the better numbers, then they're going to have to put jobs here. That's what they're going to have to do. We're not even talking about that yet. In the end, the Chinese are going to have to put jobs here. And you know something, Joe? It doesn't I can't. It doesn't matter whether you hate them or like them. These are real numbers. 
You know what? Thank God. America's economy is booming like never before, but this is not a worldwide trend, not at all. In fact, under the far left leadership of that two-faced Trudeau, our friends to the north in Canada, their economy is declining in a massive way. Look at this. The month of November, Canada lost 71,000 jobs, the biggest drop since 2009. The unemployment rate there jumped to nearly 6%. Now, Trudeau, you might want to take note. President Trump, he lowered taxes in this country, got rid of burdensome regulation, fought for better trade deals. Yeah, you have to pay more and empowered America and its energy sector. We are now for the first time in 75 years, a net exporter of energy. And by the way, now, Canada, you're suffering. This economy in America is the envy of the world. By the way, if I was a radical socialist Democrat right now, I think I'd be a little nervous about election 2020. Peace and prosperity, Baghdadi's dead, best economy since 1969, employment-wise. Oh, Trump's policies are working. Now, this is an agenda that's been an overwhelming success. Democrats have nothing to offer. They have done nothing for three years except hate Donald Trump. And their wild socialist fantasies, 94 trillion, new green deal, 52 trillion, Medicare for all, but no private insurance. Nothing but baseless, what, an impeachment charade, more conspiracy theories, more lies. You got three of the most corrupt, dishonest politicians in the swamp of Washington. By the way, the circus, that's what draining the swamp looks like. They don't like being drained and exposed, all the swamp creatures. And by the way, because of that should be revealed. And his lawyer, who said the worst things possible two years ago, he should be sued because Adam Schiff is a corrupt politician. He's corrupt. He made up a speech and he put my voice in it. He made up a speech. Had nothing to do with what I said. Adam Schiff is a corrupt politician. That's not giving us due process, not giving us lawyers. And despite all that, we're kicking their ass. Monday night, uh, maybe I'll be in your show. You will be? Uh, play that clip. Monday night, play that clip. And let's compare that clip to what Horowitz has found about the FISA warrant process. Mm -hmm. And uh, the day of reckoning is here. Uh, I, I don't, I haven't been briefed about the details, but I believe it shows the system completely off the rails for a long period of time, and that you really have to hate Trump not to be upset by what the Department of Justice and the FBI did, and there's some things that they did, I believe, that are dangerous to democracy.